I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. Um, and that's what was happening. I should have gone for the fast rolls, right? Hey everyone, I gotta get used to looking at the different camera angle now, but it's 2024 and we are playing Demon Souls Remake on the Mr. Sketchhead channel. Now, there is a reason for this, and the reason is that this is the beginning of a pretty big project, and I hate calling it a project because it makes me feel like it's work, uh, where this year I plan to go through every single one of the Soul series games and play through them again. Why? Because that's basically all this channel is, is me playing through Souls. That's just how we roll. Oh, did I? <laughs> okay, I got done in Character Creator. Uh, this is a dude. And I think I gave him the... the female walk cycle. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. We're breaking down them gender barriers, that's for sure. It's 2024. Uh, maybe we're just a sneaky knight. Um, so yeah, the reason for doing this is I've been wanting to play Souls games for a while now. I don't have time to stream really with work and everything. And, you know, sometimes I just want to play a game, sit down and talk some shit and play something. And I thought that this would be a good vessel for this uh, because I do like the Souls games. I'm kind of good at them. I can talk endlessly while playing them and then you will be hopefully entertained. You guys have been wanting to see Souls content for a long time now so I thought I would deliver. Now basically how this is gonna go is I'll... there's gotta be a way to change that, right? Maybe there isn't. I'm just stuck with this walk cycle. It's very... it's, it's adorable really. Um, because I specifically made my dude look kind of Viking-like. Um, it just kind of works out perfectly. Um, yeah, you guys have been wanting to see Souls, and I'm here to deliver. Uh, Jesus, this game... This game is crazy because... I think it's going up to, to four years old now, right? I think it's 2020, this game. Uh, like summer of 2020 or something and honestly I think this is still one of the best looking games on the PS5 or like even this generation like I was looking at footage of Modern Warfare 3 the one that's the new one that's like shitty uh, that, the one that everybody hates even IGN hated that shit like IGN gave that a bad score it's kind of insane um, they really dropped the ball but yeah, you know, that game looks good, but somehow this game with like the whole presentation, it just really goes together. Um, I don't know how they did it. They they just like must have like access to some Sony inside knowledge of how you can make your game look better than literally every single other PS5 game that has come since. So anyways, Aside from the looks, this game is pretty damn good. Um, it's Demon Souls, so you know the deal. We like it. I decided to go for the knight because it's kind of the class I don't really play. Now, don't get me wrong, heavy builds are extremely shitty in this game because poise doesn't really exist, so even if you're wearing heavy armor Oh no, maybe they added poise. I don't know all of the changes. But maybe they added poise. Because that used to be the issue with heavy armor in the OG Demon Souls is that because poise didn't exist, uh, there was basically no point in fat rolling. We have pretty good, by the way, sick parries. We have pretty good defense. Uh, which is what we'll need. So yeah, this is kind of gonna be the the jive of this. Um, I think the build I'm going for, I was trying to look at weapons that are not really used in this game, which is, you know, this game is like, what, 14 years old? So that's really, 
not something that exists anymore because everybody's used everything but people were pointing to the flamberge you know the the bleeding curved so not curved sword but the bleeding large sword and i was thinking you know what that might be a good one to go for i don't use the flamberge in other souls games either like never so maybe this is a good entryway into flamberge world or something and the other thing I'm gonna go for is probably the fire spells. Uh, I thought, you know, Flamberge, Flame Theme, and all that. And because I'm like a turbo nerd sometimes, I named this character after a Warhammer uh, Fire Mage. Who, it's been so long that I don't even know if that's what they're called. But, yeah. That's just how I am. So, anyways, new development on the channel is this face cam stand that I bought, finally. Um, I used to have my face cam like way up there on a shelf and it just looks shitty because I don't know much about cinematography, but you really shouldn't like film yourself from above. It looks a little bit too CCTV-ish. I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. Um, and that's what was happening. I should have gone for the fast rolls, right? Yeah, and I just got tired of it and I had this stand anyways and I was like, you know what? If I have it, might as well use it. That was horrible. That was that was that was the awfulest shittiest Vanguard fight ever. Damn. So yeah, the the thing I got to get used to is not looking there but looking here. If I want to look at the camera. So Alright, ghost vibes. Damn, her feet are gross in this game. She ain't been washing them shits. <clears throat> And she's standing in water too, it looks like it. Yeah, we know the deal. Listen, talking to a veteran here. And by the way, one thing I wanted to say is that just, you know, for efficiency's sake in this playthrough, I will be cutting out like the boring parts, you know, when I'm just like running back or you know just basically you know the boring stuff like i can't babble on for like an hour plus non-stop so there's gotta be breaks all right let's talk to this guy well, you through the fissure too, did you? You i think my character looks cool She could get the blue ghost skin. That would be dope. For demons, try one of the arch stones. Now go. Somebody pointed out, and I'm like really picking it up now that the controller in this game vibrates like non-stop. Like it's actually like legit non-stop going. And it's like, you know, and people wonder why the PS5 controller needs to be like constantly recharged. Oh my, how has this happened? This the the uncanny, the facial expressions. Damn, we look soft for like a ginger bearded Viking. That walk cycle is quite something. All right, I think it's time to stop wasting time. Talk to everyone. Let's go to the gates of Boletaria. I mean, like, this is what I'm talking about. Just, like, the level of detail put into these environments is just insane. They, they gotta be hacking. Like, there's no way that no other developers managed to make a game this decent looking since then. But man, back to the controller, like, 
there was a thread on Twitter about it a couple of days ago how and you know I can speak from personal experience to this the switch controller you don't need to charge that shit like ever that thing has like infinite battery infinite battery hack and then this thing while I do like the PS5 controller is just like a massive battery drain and you know very true when you have like obnoxious blue LEDs on everything and it like vibrates constantly of course it's gonna lose battery like you might as well have this thing up your pussy that's how much it vibrates and this game especially I mean I get it haptics and all that you can turn it off but I don't wanna but yeah um, in terms of this game and souls in general playing these knight types is basically cheating uh, for the first good portion of the game if you're new to this series and you want an easy time just pick the knight bruh because you have like insane defense one of the best weapons in the game with the long sword long swords are always strong and you have a hundred percent block shield like these early enemies they just can't do anything against you. So, if you're learning this series, that's my recommendation. Uh, pick the knight or pick anyone with a big ass shield and just hold L1. You block and you hit them. Easy money. And by the way, this is not something I've done too much uh, on my previous playthroughs, but. This photo mode in this game is insane. Like, you can really navigate the environment quite a bit. And, you know, there's like, okay, I'm gonna make some people like vomit. And it's crazy, there's like filters on it. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> you can make it look like the OG Demon Souls. Uh, it's like Instagram, seriously kind of crazy you straight up have visco and demon souls very useful app by the way something i can vouch for visco it's like the ultimate hipster photo app or at least it used to be it was for the girls who are different and i guess i'm in that category it's for the art hoes for sure but it genuinely is good for like quickly editing your like Instagram photos and all that. So you can just like slap a filter on it and they look way better than like the shitty Instagram filters that everybody can like make. Plus, you know, I do have an actual film camera, but that shit is like a crazy expensive hobby, so I tend to not engage, you know, because you gotta buy the film. There's like a 50% chance your photos turn out shitty, unless you're like a professional, which I'm not. You know, it's a whole thing. It's a good hobby though. Uh, it's one of those true money wasters. Like fucking being into modular synthesizers, that's like... You know. While I am a musician, and I do have synths, I'm avoiding modulars like the plague. That's for sure. It's like the quickest way to bankrupt yourself. God, this really is truly easy mode. I don't even have to think about what I'm doing here. This walk cycle is just so cute. We're dummy thick, you know. It's the clap of our ass cheeks to bring that back. That was one of the better memes, I thought. Those animations are crazy. Which is crazy. And this, this longsword has like a pretty boring one. Some of the other ones you can get. 
They just look insane. The rapier has a good one. Um, yeah, all that. I'm wondering. I'm wondering what the flamberge has. Because, like I said, that thing truly is. If you want to talk about underrated weapon weapons, that's got to be the main one. Because I ain't never seen anybody use the fucking flamberge, bastard sword. Huh. Wait, does it auto-equip? Strange. Okay, what do I need? Uh, t -t -t 18. Which is the same for the flamberge. I might just go for that, eventually. Uh, I think that's a good holdover weapon. What are my stats? 14, 10. And I think the flamberge is 18, 14. It's a dex weapon for sure. Uh... So, you know, comes with all the prejudices you expect of being a dex build. Sorry, I just choked when I said I'm going to be a dex build. Okay, I just want to test something out. This running attack is crazy. It's like actually way crazier than the standard one, because it's... In other Souls games, or From games, it's the same animation, but here he does like a little jump. I think that actually probably makes it worse. Yeah, looks like it. How confident am I? I'm pretty confident. I think he can just cheat this guy, right? Because he doesn't deal any damage that could break my shield. Oh yeah, okay. He's done for. He's done for, for sure. Yeah, okay. It's funny how much of a cheat like you can be. Just using a 100% block shield. <laughs> Insane. This guy would, yeah, I was gonna say, this guy would fuck me up if he hit me. What you know? No reason to take risks. Nope. Come on. Don't fuck me, game. Easy money. Full moon grass. That's okay. I'll take that. I mean, it's not like we actually needed any of that, but still looking at the wrong place. There's the camera. It's like you've been doing something for like years, you know, looking over there. It's a habit to get out of. Plus, I haven't recorded any gameplay for like ages. Ages. So yeah, when people say this is the easiest Souls game, I think they really do mean it. Uh, you can cheese a lot of this game with the tactics I sort of just showed. Like shields in this game, magic. Magic is crazy abusable. Okay. That was not the best. Didn't think that would linger. Dope. I like the items we need for the little stockpile Thomas quest. It's easy enough. Okay, so I picked fire bombs as my starter. So let's see how good my aim is. Fairly good. Could have gotten that the first try, but Just chill out. Chill the F out. Alright, cling ring time.
One day I'll do a no clingering challenge run. That's not gonna be now. I mean, it doesn't really even matter. When you die, it becomes a little bit harder, but that's about it. This is that shit you can't wear unless you're male, right? That's the... Yeah. Right? That's like the gender-locked armor sets. That's something that was only in this game. Cool, let's get back. And naturally, we're gonna take the Ostrava route, because of course we are. When the hell do you actually ever get an ally like this in a Souls game? Like, not for a long time. Elder Ring kind of has this. This is not the same armor set, right? Is it? it kind of... Hold on. The fuck do you have photo mode for? God, this thing is making you sick. Uh, how do you go down? Oh, <laughs> hello crotch. Jesus. Of course he can't hit those draglings. Like, look at how cross-eyed he is. Holy shit. His looks a little bit different. Just a little bit. Yeah, this is why he can't hit shit. This is can't actually see anything. Alright, that's a waste. No plunging attacks, of course. He could have done that. Like, he's super powerful, too. He has, like, a magic sword. Just a cheap ass. Of course, he's a prince, you know. He's used to other people wiping his ass. Alright. <laughs> that roll. That's a, it's a pretty good roll animation, you gotta admit. He's, like, really struggling. It's like having to roll if you don't want to get your clothes dirty. You know. Let's see if he can handle that enemy. Oh yeah, I just noticed he can roll properly. Jesus, his AI is... God tier shit. As in like shit tier, is what I was trying to say. He's one of the dumbest, for sure. I mean... Demon Souls AI. I guess they couldn't really change this because if you made him super smart, you'd just be way too powerful. He basically does have an insane amount of health, so can't really die. GG's. This side path is boring, so we can skip it. Yeah, that was kind of boring. Um, and the reason I skipped it is not just because I looked at my recording screen and I noticed I was 25 minutes in, with basically not a whole lot of progress. And I had sort of an idea to get to my weapon in this video, but then I realized that the Flambridge is actually located in the second area of the Tower of Latria, so... That's not really gonna work. Like a beautiful team, Ostrava. Really work well together. <laughs> They're running at the cack. I wonder if the... wait. That's crazy as well. That's a crazy animation. Rolling attack, now is the Ostrava thing. That would have been a parry too. I almost... Like, I almost had that. We would have just walked into it. I'm like losing my ability to speak, I swear. You know, I said a while back, like last year no the year before 
that I was going to stop making these types of videos, these like traditional let's play types, but the reason I've decided to come back to it is because, you know, as I said, I do enjoy long form content, but I don't have the time to stream really. You know, I have the dogs, the dogs take up a lot of time, work takes up also a lot of time, plus I have a shit ton of other hobbies, you know. I do like to play games off stream as well. There are games that... How the hell do you get? Oh, wait. No, how do you get down there? Right here. Okay, I'm blind. Never mind. I'm like actually blind. You know, there are games I like to play off stream as well. I'm playing Metroid Prime for the millionth time, you know, trying to 100% it. It was my game, one of my game of the years for last year. So, you know, that's like not exactly great YouTube content because it's like an ancient game. And even the remastered came out like almost a year ago. So that takes time, the dogs, other hobbies, you know, I do music, would be nice to actually finish a beat once in a while too. It's like the eternal struggle. Come up with an idea, like a loop, you make a video for it for Instagram, it's pretty good, it hits and I'm like, you know what, I really should turn this into a full beat and I don't know, it just never... It just never occurs, because I'm like moving on to the next thing. And that's like one of my goals to actually finish a beat. I'm making a drum room in my basement, because I do have a drum set from years ago that I haven't used because I don't have really the space. But now I cleared out quite a bit of my basement. So, you know, I just have a lot going on. Yeah, I got a halberd. And streaming doesn't always fit into it. Especially with the streaming meta of, you know, going for like hours and hours and hours. That's like what pops off. To actually finish my point, that's why I decided to go back to these types of videos. It's like I'm almost streaming, but not really. It feels like I'm streaming. Except I don't talk to you. But do leave comments, you know. Down there. Comments. You can call me an asshole if you want to. I don't care. Jesus, this game looks good. Like the amount of detail in these areas. Give me that photo mode. Look at them birds. That's where we'll be going. Even back then, FromSoft already had the interconnected world. That's like one of my favorite things, genuinely, when you get to see where you'll be going. Like you see late game areas. Always done well, this series. Speaking of games from last year, I gotta pick up like Lies of P as well. Like, hella missed out on that game. I talked about it too, like, I liked the demo in August. But it just... I just somehow, like, missed it when it came out. Not missed it, I knew it was coming out. Like, I'm not an idiot, but... I don't know. I don't know what happened. There are some Dragons. You can go and pick up the shield, if I remember correctly, but... There's a ring there as well, right? The ring and a shield, I think. Yeah, whatever. Where the hell is he? There he is. Give me some souls. Hurry up! Did he just seriously fuck off? 
I didn't like trigger him enough. What the hell is going on with this dragon? Is he actually... Oh! Couldn't have made my point any clearer. This thing is like constantly running out of batteries. It's crazy. Hopefully it's gonna last this episode at least. Just as I was talking about it. See? I always get my point proven unintentionally. It's coming back, isn't he? Because I was gonna say, you can like sneak in here and steal this shit. But yeah, back to streaming. Talked about it a little bit, but... I don't know about you guys, maybe it's just like my... You know, my current lifestyle, but... To me, I don't know about you, but this like popular streamer lifestyle, the ones, the people who like actually make a living off of Twitch and YouTube, honestly, it kind of seems like a nightmare to me. Like, that can't be like a good existence, right? It just doesn't seem like it. Like, I was watching some like popular streamers and it's like these dudes stream constantly and i i truly mean constantly like they have fucked up sleep schedules <laughs> they like barely see their families because they're always streaming because that's the twitch meta and the youtube meta as well like people want non-stop content so you gotta stream for like seven eight nine hours uh to like actually get anywhere that just seems like you're, you're working more than like an actual job. It's crazy. Like, I clock in, you know, I get to work a little after 8. I'm out the fucking door at like 4.45 and I don't look back. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a, a fun way to live. I feel like you're fucking yourself up. And uh, these people always talk about how like isolated they are, they are and they have like no time for anybody except just twitch, 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 grind, grind, grind. Seems kind of bullshit to me, honestly. Completely different if you make your living from like actual YouTube. Although that's kind of turned into a shit show as well. It's still like, I think, better. Making like video es essays. Okay, I'm getting fucked up here. Oh, the video essays as well, I feel like kind of are in the same boat. Is that like a few years ago when there used to be just like a couple of people making video essays, like the really detailed ones, like ContraPoints, good example. Those are good video essays. But now it's like everybody makes them and you literally have people churning out like hour plus videos on just like the most mundane things imaginable. Like I saw some dude make like, I don't remember what it was on. I think it was like on some YouTube web series or web comic. I don't even remember. Like some really mundane topic. And the dude had like... Oh no, it was some Nickelodeon show. Some like old ass Nickelodeon show. And the dude had like... I don't know, like it, it's something ridiculous. Like 12 hours worth of video essays on that one show. Somebody pointed out that the video essays are more than the actual length of the show ever was. And it's like, bro, just take it easy at that point. We don't need that much... Like, we don't need that many video essays. I get that it kind of... I guess it sort of works like a podcast for a lot of people. 
just throw it on in the background but you don't need we don't need a four-hour analysis on some like random nickelodeon show from like the early 2000s we really don't as a society we have enough on our minds not to you know get too heavy anyways this boss is a bitch we're gonna pine resin up uh literally one of the easiest bosses ever we don't even need to pine resin up well maybe we'll do i like to run in here and yeah i mean especially if you're playing the knight this this boss is I don't even know if it can physically kill you because it only does physical attacks and you have a hundred percent block shit. I mean look at how much damage it's not doing. Telling you man, playing as the knight is an actual cheat code for the early game. You know what? We might as well pine resin. Let's make this a little bit more efficient. Because they're hella weak to fire too. Okay, let's not get careless though. The only thing that could kill you is carelessness. And I have plenty of that going. It's my middle name. I can literally just like keep myself topped up. I mean... You almost gotta feel sorry. It's like the most tutorial boss of tutorial bosses. What is this thing even supposed to be? And now it can't do shit. That's how pathetic this thing is. Sorry, Phalanx. You are kind of a punching bag. Oh yeah, she is supposed to be the archer. One of the nice details about this game is when these Boletaria enemies die, they each release like a little pop of spirit bong like smoke coming out of them and the spirit matches who they're supposed to be so she was the archer you know the archer at the end that you actually fight in the final area something like that let's go back They gotta zoom in on them gross feet. Unwashed. The monumental awaits the above. This thing is crazy. When I first played the game, I was looking for this dude for like 15, 20 minutes. It's crazy. And the reason was it was the stupidest thing. Because you see this and she says monumental i literally thought the monumental was the statue not that there's like little monk dudes hidden everywhere and one of them happens to be still alive you know matter of interpretation i still think i was correct or i wasn't wrong in interpreting monumental as being the you know, the big ass statue in the middle. Yeah, that's how they trick you. Let's show our beautiful face. Since we have it. Like this and Elden Ring are the only Souls games where you can actually make decent looking characters, in my opinion. The rest, it's like you just give it up. Just give it up because it ain't gonna happen. Alright. We have long 
this dude talks for a long time lower exposition so i think let's just skip through all of that because we we know the lore of demon souls i think i, I hope if not go to another video and watch it and then come back here Just to make it dramatic, we're gonna look back and say yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. <sighs> this thing is putting me to sleep. The old one, the yeah, 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 cool. GG's. That was almost a very bad idea. Thank fuck, fall damage is also non-existent in this game. The thing is, uh, a lot of people do, you know, do some Golden Gate Bridge shit, which you can't even say on YouTube, you know, the S word. Because when you do that, you lose your human body, so you can't affect the world tendency. I don't care. Like, there's some, like, specific world tendency stuff, but we don't actually need that for this playthrough. Alright, what we need is seek some power, seek seek lest, and I'm gonna try, yeah, cool. We actually have quite a bit, and we have fairly even stats. Do I have an attunement? I do have an, att an attunement slot. We'll need a couple of those too. Let's put this to 11 as well. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Gonna look pretty spread out early on. But don't worry, this is gonna take shape. <laughs> that posture and that face. Hold on. This sounds like sad boy shit. But you can. <laughs> this game is quite something. What is this? Happy? This is happy. Listen, if you saw this on the tube slash subway, whichever region of the world you're from, you wouldn't be happy. And there's a jolly fellow. We're serious. Yeah, side look. Her feet are. God damn it. Unwashed. She does overall, overall look way better though, naturally. All right. I am a saint. Saint Pepsi. Now that there's a deep cut for you. Remember Saint Pepsi? Go back and listen to him. He has pretty good stuff. Future Funk. Future Funk is my go-to for putting on when it's like summer and just have the radio on, you know, have something playing. Future Funk is pretty good for that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to transition to the Bastard Sword. We can't really get any heavier than this, so... I feel like we might as well use it. And we don't need this, don't need this, and this, or this. I do have a heart of gold. Let's see if we can upgrade this shit. Can make it plus one. I'll do that. I mean, you make a weapon plus one or two in this game. We're just missing the souls. No, I'm missing the Hearthstone as well. You come back alive. Like, you start upgrading your weapon and it's basically cheating from that point on. Just testing out the moveset. That's like very linear. I prefer having some like stab attack, but that's not gonna happen. This dude is an asshole. Damn. You see what I see? I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Frake is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power 
to save him alone. This is a pretty good. It's a pretty good spell. But I don't have a catalyst. I was gonna say, it looks like we have the same barber. Somebody is jacking somebody's style. Bro, like, I came up with this. What the fuck? I'm the ultimate Viking here. Unbelievable. Just like uncomfortably close to him. That that facial expression. These characters have facial expressions in this game. Cool. Where are we going? Latria. Cause I need to get my main weapon. We're gonna like beeline into the Flamberge. Once we get through this boss, the weapon is pretty easy to get to in the second area. You just need to run to it. Until then, the bastard sword will hold us over. But I don't want to spend too much cash money on it and resources. This is going to be interesting fat rolling. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting fat rolling. Jesus. Okay. Um... This will not be... <laughs> this area might be a slight problem. Just a very, very slight problem. Because I'm like too fat to roll out of the way. And that's not, that's not a good look. Should have worked out more. Got buff enough to... Roll in heavy armor, like Ostrava. Ostrava is straight up on some like PEDs. There's no way that scrawny boy is like rolling in this armor. He's trying to block that. And it's crazy they're all missing. With that move. So what I'm trying to do is... Check what happens. Oh, shit. That does look very painful, I will admit. Hmm. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. I'm too fat. Like, legit too fat. Alright. We don't need this. We don't need this. Nice. Alright, half naked time. And... Shit, I don't have ephemeral eyes. Alright, whatever. I think this will go, go slightly better uh, now. I do hate that I ruined the... Oh shit! What attack is... Do they have a magic attack like that? I totally forgot they do. This is a... Fuck. This is a crazy area, bro. And it's one-shotting me? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lose any more world tendency, at least. Shit. Maybe this game is pretty hard. Saria is a bit of a bastard. Famously so. There we go. Satisfying. There we go. That's more like it. I mean, that thing should be dead. There's no way it isn't. See? 
This area ain't so bad. Just gotta overcome the mental block. Or something. They're idiots too. There we go. Much, much better. Now I'm in the roll of things after two deaths. But I do constantly forget where you're supposed to go here. You need to like, get all of them. Like all of the keys. And they're not easy to actually find. There we go, there's one. They don't glow or anything like that. Yeah, and I think it's like back here, and it's this door. It's not this door. Hold on. I'll solve this, don't worry. In fact... It's this door. Right at the... what the... Hold on. Come on. Is that like a realistically modeled dead rat? Cause it hella looks like it. This is a mummified rat if I've ever seen one. Imagine you were responsible for that. You're the dead rat modeler for Demon Souls. What did you do at work today? I modeled some dead rats. As you do. These are annoying too, because I always feel bad for them, for killing them, these prisoners. But they're kind of motherfuckers, because they block your way constantly. Very dramatic. There we go, that's a stone of the ephemeral eye, which I'm too scared to use. Because there's an extremely real chance I'm going to die to the next Cthulhu monster. And then I'm just gonna like fuck myself into a black world tendency, and we don't want that. Hey there, bro. Oh, yeah. Prison shanking. Like, realistic, too. They really are modeling some realistic scenarios here. I'm surprised there is no shower area in this place. You like slip on the soap. Eat shit, bitch. There we go. I don't know what the hell was up with me. The first few places. I was like really struggling. Against these enemies. The power of the backstab. I guess. Sorry. I know you're innocent, but... It's just... The vibes are off with you. If the vibes are off, there's nothing I can do. Is he stuck? Looks like he is. Perfect for a backstab. 
That's a good, this is a good ass animation. I hope the flumber is gonna have something dope and different. But I have a feeling it may not. Luckily we don't really need to deep dive into this area. Cause... I mostly know where we need to go. I can kind of understand why people were mad lost in this place back in 2010. This area must have seemed like a nightmare for people. She actually does have some good shit. Full moon grass, although expensive. That's one of the... Okay, we will get this. Thanks. That's one of the biggest dick moves in this game. That Patches happens to be like the, the most useful merchant. Rough. In the game. So you can't really kill him, because... All of the moon grasses are the cheapest with patches. So it's like, what the hell am I supposed to do? We gotta keep him around. Unless it's like a matter of principle, but it's not with me. He is a dick in this game too. Okay, who's gonna try and shank me? I don't know if that guy was trying to, but you're gonna, just gonna have to wait. Dude, like you were seeing like crime theory in action here. Like these guys didn't wanna. They aren't bad guys. It's because of the prison environment. The prison industrial complex turned these fools into shankers. Maybe they're in here for like accounting fraud, you know, you never know. Imagine that. I'm trying to think of like a decent place to cut off this episode, but I think I'm gonna have to like tough it out here. Because in this game, you get sent straight back to the beginning if you quit during an area or like in an area. I got you, fam. Don't even worry. I do like he says that now. Like, after you've already killed like five of them. Really just like... Hammering it home, sage freak. This opens this, right? No, it doesn't. It's the only thing I'm always lost on, what opens what. You just kind of have to pick up the keys and hope for the best. It's a useless weapon. Crossbows in this game. They suck. Oh shit. Get in the cell. I knew there would be a shanker here. I'm just waiting for him. You know he's coming. Surprise! What, you think you were gonna get shanked? No. He's a bastard sword in, into your back. Is the other key NPC here? 
I've never rescued this guy. I should. I don't remember what happens, but I think we should. He has a really unique weapon. What a build. He has that weird magic staff. All right, we get it. We get it. That's great. I'll just go forward and we can always come back and figure out where we actually need to go. I'm gonna like try not to get hit by that. It's gonna really screw me. I think there's another female only armor coming up here somewhere. Oops, sorry. My bad. Didn't know if you were shanking or not. That's the one, right? Of course it's gonna put me over over capacity. God, they really are cog blocking you with this menu screen of having the <laughs> The sixth arched stone there, like broken. Man. Unbelievable tease. They know what they're doing. Dick move. Don't I have that ring that might allow me? Yes. Yes, we do. It's just this set again. That's what I was remembering. I, I'm very happy to drop this if I need to, honestly. And we have... We missed Crystal Lizard number one, because of course we did. Oh shit! I found my place to stop. Damn, that was like the stupidest death. Thank fuck I didn't use the Stone of the Ephemeral Eye. Oh man, all right, well, dumb as death, but I think with that we are going to sort of wrap up. I think this series is going to be called the Soulsborn. What is it going to be called? The Souls series retrospective playthrough, episode one, Demon Souls. Something like that. Something to clickbait all of you. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this little podcast, not podcast, but stream style content here, there will be other videos. There are games coming out in January that I'm looking forward to Tekken mainly. There will be footage of that. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace out. Like, share with your friends and family. And yeah, peace out and goodbye.